welcome back to Beta Talks. Today we have Cole. Welcome to my channel, Cole. Welcome. Thank you for coming. So um, you are also an INFJ like myself, but you are the most extroverted one. Would you like to tell us our uh, tell us your type, please? Mm -hmm. uh, and I F E blast play consume sleep audio or MF as my type. Yeah, yeah. So we are both audio and you are blast play consume. So you are info dom and I am blast sleep play. So I'm energy dom. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be interesting to compare a little. So I just want to know, how did you get into typology and OP? Tell me a little bit about your journey and what you find interesting with this stuff. Mm -hmm. So initially I got into MBTI January, 2020. So initially when my, a friend of mine was into something called temperaments, you know, the four basic temperaments, phlegmatic, choleric, sanguine, melancholic. And then every single time she would t try and type me and other people and say, you're this, you're this. And then after a while I started noticing that you can't necessarily pinpoint somebody's type based on that old, old model. So then I, I decided, you know what, I really want to know more about this because it, it had some sort of promising, um, details that it could could further develop if I had learned more about psychology. So essentially, basically, I learned about temperaments itself. And then after I wanted to learn more because four types were just so limiting. And then it got to I got to MBTI where 16 types. And then after when I was learning about MBTI around the same time in January 2020, I discovered OP. And then ever since I discovered OP, the way they kind of went into detail about specific types and 512 types. So the there's jumpers and there's, there's different types and it kind of made more sense. It started to click as soon as I got into OP. So that's when I got into OP last year, 2020. Cool. And was that when you started your YouTube channel about the personality types? You have a, a channel about that one? Right? Yeah. So that one there, I started it August 15th, 2020. Um, main, initially when I first started, it wasn't nothing to do with skits and comedy sketches and whatnot. Initially it was kind of like the the what the information type of videos where I just kind of explained different types uh, just about typology and whatnot and then after eventually I started I started thinking that because I've always kind of wanted to do some sort of something to do with entertainment and filmmaking and just a video creation like content creation so that I said you know what, I'm actually I've, I have I've got I've got a camera like a, a a decent camera which I can record I know how to edit I know how to kind of make things look all right even if it's not the best uh, like I haven't got the best script, etc. I managed to make it work. So I started uploading then in August 2015, no, August, the 15th of August, 2020. And then after that, I realized st people started watching my videos and saying, oh, this is nice. Could you do a video on this specific type? And I was like, okay, let me try and do some sort of um, comedy sketches because I feel like there was a lot of information type of videos out there initially. So then I was like, if I'm, if I'm going to try and start out, let me try and start out doing this so I can get more people to kind of watch like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it wasn't initially um so i started that yeah like eight months down the line after i kind of got into the whole um mbti psychology type stuff all right and at the time did you think that you were some sort of ntj since it's called the ntj yeah exactly yeah so initially when i got typed when i well, not when i got typed but when i got into op like i uh, know just mbti and op because i kind of got into them basically around the same basically same month same same time so um when i got into I was kind of mainly going off the like stereotypical anecdotal and um, MBTI type of definition. So, so I thought I was an INTJ and that's mm -hmm. kind of what I thought up until recently, right? I always thought like an INTJ. So then the types of videos I would create were predominantly INTJ, ENTJ type of NTJ, NT type videos. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I thought at the time. And, um, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So then when you got your type, like were you <laughs> yeah um, <shocked>? yeah <laughs> yeah yeah initially i was shocked because um before i actually got my type um benjamin's team the cognitive resolution group they typed mm -hmm. me s-e-f-e so when i got that initially i was like whoa they typed me s-e-f-e and i was like what's what's oh. going on like they typed me play consume blast sleep then that's when that's the kind of first realization i had that i, I actually um, considered f-e because beforehand i was like f-e what is f-e like what, what is that so then when that, when I got that type, I was like, whoa. And then um, fast forward to when I actually got my type um, a month ago or so, when I actually got NIFE, I was sh kind of still 
sh not so shocked because when people were kind of typing me in the you know the the ATG group, they they were typing me. A lot of people said S E T E and N I T E, so they've seen a lot of T E isms, and I think mm. that's because of my D E side, where it's like I'm always trying to attempt to help people and try and you know do things for people. So I I also I, initially when I first got into like when I started learning about the definitions of OP properly, I saw yeah I'm definitely tribe above self. Um, I saw, yeah, I'm an observer. So I kind of got, okay, probably IJ. And then most likely, I, I thought most likely I was an IJ. That's why I thought INTJ. Then I yeah. kind of considered the EP route because when I was typed SEFE, I was like, okay, SEFE, I could actually be. Then after that's, it, it, that made me think, okay, could I actually be really FE, SE, like FE? And then now when I got the type back, it's like, yeah, I'm double activated on the FE and SE, which is probably why they kind of saw that predominantly. And I and I kind of see how um, the, the, the type I got from OP now is, mm -hmm. is what it is, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool because <laughs> you got the IJ part right, you got the yeah. observer, you got the NI, like there were many parts that you got right. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the animal stack? Was that something that you had expected, like the most cranked mm -hmm. up version of the IJ or um, what were your thoughts about the animal stack before you got so, mm -hmm. so initially when I thought I was an INTJ, I, I, when I, before I actually knew about the animals in, op, in objective personality, I always thought that I was somewhat of an introverted type because of what my family would tell me and whatnot. But when it came to other people, like strangers and outward people, like who never knew me and whatnot, it's like I always seemed um, not over the top, but like they can sense that this guy has, in a sense, sometimes it can seem like this guy has a lot of excitement. And he has a lot of energy. He's, he's able to do a lot of things. So that's one of the things I noticed from be, um, before I actually got into OP. Then once I got into OP itself, I did re like once I started looking at the definitions and whatnot, I started noticing, yeah, I'm, I most likely have lost um, kind of high up. And mm -hmm. um, I, I do see my how on a spectrum, because I think that's 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 kind of ideal based on the the amount of people, the, the people in like what I've observed in just the whole um, what am I talking about? I don't know. But based on what I've observed, I, I do see myself more on the extroverted side, even from when I've been growing up uh, in school, I was always kind of the one who was a bit, um, bit, uh, what's that? I don't know the, the specific word I'm trying to look for, but you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Outgoing or? A bit, yeah. yeah. But then I also thought that, hey, I was, cause I was, um, cause some, some, some may say I'm a bit nerdy in the sense that I'm, I, I know a lot about technology. I know a lot about sp things that people, other people, the average Joe may not know. So mm -hmm. then people thought like, hey, you, you probably have that side to you where you're, Kind of reserved and you know but yeah. but i think i just kind of have the balance between i know how to, this works and i know kind of what the tribe kind of wants and needs and i kind of just mesh that together yeah interesting yeah. wow yeah there are so many things i'm thinking about <laughs> as you're talking <laughs> so yeah so i have blast sleep and you have blast play and i i think there is kind of a kind of a clear difference between the vibe of of the two of us now like you're very energetic and i'm kind of sleepy i guess okay um, i don't know if you pick up on that but that's yeah, yeah, how i, I feel it, like yeah. it's a bit of yeah a difference yeah there i see it and, and also i think sometimes i think what i've noticed with the blast play is that initially like when i'm in the presence with of people it's like it just the energy levels kind of just skyrocket in a sense yeah so initially it may be like okay just baseline okay yes just yeah okay we're talking then after once you actually get into the conversation it, it just kind of skyrockets because it's like the play is just it's just it's 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 wanting to kind of ping off and just kind of wanted to kind of share i guess that's what i yeah. think it's kind of doing yeah yeah you really do that pinging thing like one of the first things i noticed about you was uh, in the discord server uh, -huh. uh you came into the voice chat and i think like the amount of questions you were asking was, <laughs> <laughs> was immense, like yeah. a lot of questions. Yeah, I think right? about, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of play, a lot of pinging there. And I was thinking about that, like, because you have play above consume. So I was thinking, is that part of how you consume? Like you're using your play to gather information and to consume. Yeah, certainly, yeah. I think that's one of my most easiest it's, it's, I think it's almost like a default way of consuming. It's like, that's my most preferred way. But I, I, sometimes I don't even see it as a way of, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm playing to consume. It kind of, I just play then it's like, it's a byproduct that I consumed whilst I'm playing. So it kind of benefits in that area most of the time. 
Yeah. Yeah. And also, I guess it's also because, I guess, no, I, I guess it depends. Sometimes it kind of, I, 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 I'm trying to think, maybe it's because it's double masculine ST consume. So when it does come off, it, it, it seems like, okay, this guy, it's a bit like, tone it down a bit because it, it could be like, but to me, it seems like I'm just kind of plain. But initially, sometimes it could, initially, it may seem like, hey, this guy's just plain, but then it could kind of go into that direction where it's just ST consume. Yeah. Whereas like after some time it kind of then yeah then after yeah go on yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah I'm interested ab uh, about your ST consume because mm -hmm. so what Benjamin said when he was here was that it's like the consume that is most tied to reality something along those lines mm -hmm. um, do you find your consume being a very I don't know like do you enjoy consuming things that are related to real life stuff or yeah definitely yeah. Uh, yeah like um i think one of the things i i don't know if this is related completely but i'm going to try and sh give it a shot um like one of the things i like to like even just research and know about is like because i'm heavily interested in formula one um flight simulation um just basically um real life type of games when i, when I play games it's like the real life simulation games like i've actually got yeah. the logitech g29 steering wheel with the pedal shifters so it actually simulates um the, the, the game i play so i play a lot of formula one a lot of um like car games and flight simulation so yeah. the type of things i do consume like even when i'm not playing the games per se when i'm actually doing the research because mm -hmm. it's kind of both playing and like uh, when I'm, wait, basically when i'm doing the research itself is like um i kind of forgot the question what was the specific word you used like if is it's it, real life stuff like yeah. related oh, yeah. to real yeah. life stuff yeah i i believe that it's it's most that when i am consuming it's kind of yeah I, I believe it's most of the time it's it's what can i it's like i consume so that i can kind of i can store it later and use it in in a real life scenario so when i do ask people questions sometimes you may hear me saying okay so what step what would you recommend or how would you go about you know, what tips would you get not what tips were like how did you get into the thing that you kind of got into um how did you get into it yeah almost why did you get into it and how would you recommend somebody else to get into it let's say for example the person is studying let's say medicine or whatever it is mm -hmm. you know that way i can kind of store it in my archives or don't know what i do but i kind of just store yeah. it take it in and then next time if i if i'm gonna like if i'm pink playing with another tribe member mm -hmm. i can say oh do you know you could possibly do this or have you tried this because i kind of got that st consumed so it's applicable to real, to anybody now because yeah. I can kind of just apply it, take it from this individual and then just say, okay, this is what I've consumed or from this individual by via playing. So now I can tell you this specific thing in reality, ST. Yeah. So then you sense. can kind of blast it, like use exactly. that information yeah. to help the tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. even like um, a lot of people say that I kind of, uh, I consume before I kind of blast in the say. Mm -hmm. And um that was something that was interesting to me because I'm still trying to figure out how exactly in, in terms of the animal stack itself because blast play consume sleep so a lot of people say I respect the information in the sense that I consume first I, I want to get more of the information before I actually say you should do this you should do that so that's why when it does come I guess also because it's double masculine ST consume again it's like it, it comes off more I, I don't know if this is related but what I'm trying to say is that um, it's one of the first things I kind of do before I actually blast so blasting mm -hmm. is not necessarily the the, the main thing that I do, I kind of play and then kind of whilst I'm playing, I kind of get information from the individual. Then it's like at the end, blast. That's yeah. how I think I I, I, I do it. But it, that's super yeah. interesting because, yeah, I mean, when you have blast first, I mean, you you cannot blast something that isn't already there. Yeah, it, right? that, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah. so you need to have something like in your your NI. Mm -hmm understanding before mm. you can use it and yeah yeah but it's also if like I, I don't see myself having difficulty even if i haven't consumed 100 mm. percent i can kind of relate it also i guess it's also because my, my blast is nf blast so i can kind of just you know say for something but when if i do that without actually using some sort of consume then you will notice that i'm not actually using examples or i'm not actually giving actual um actual things that you can actually use in reality but when i do want to when i do blast i prefer if it can actually be applicable to real life mm, not yeah. just an abstraction in a sense if that makes sense this is so interesting because i've been thinking about the st consume and how i use it myself 
And I'd say that I'm also interested in things that are applicable somehow in real life, the same way as you're saying it. And even if I'm watching like a movie or reading a novel, I still want it to be somehow connected to reality, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. I want to have that that authentic feeling mm -hmm. that yeah this could that's, happen or this yeah. is real you know that, that's that's interesting you say that because even when i do consume like entertainment for example it's mm -hmm. like it i i don't like the the, the fake stuff no not, not that it's not fake but like even if it's like sci-fi i like it because there's an there's an element there's elements to um reality if that makes sense exactly. the way they explain it like for example um the way they explain it and the kind of the way they kind of just depict it is like this makes sense like if they can actually you know yeah, exactly so, it has yeah. to make some sort of sense i think that is the thing mm -hmm. um it can't be too much of a fantasy land yeah yeah um yeah. then it's like what I have i totally learned from relate. this yeah yeah, yeah. like, it's like I, I spent yeah, Go yeah on, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 i was thinking of what you said about sci-fi like i also enjoy science fiction uh mm -hmm. not all though but yeah if it's relatable like if it could be real you know if you can somehow imagine that sometime in the future it yeah. could be real you know if you get yeah. that sense then then it's intriguing then it's super interesting mm. i also like like um history mo like history kind of shows and yeah. and uh movies and, and like that as well I, I enjoy a lot of the um especially ones to do with war and battle mm -hmm. I, I think those are the ones i really enjoy yeah do you lot. have any specific like um, favorite on, movies of, or novels anything? one of the i mean one of the the shows i was watching on netflix recently the last kingdom mm -hmm. um that was that's one of the most recent ones i watched and yeah. um in terms of in terms of yeah yeah um i'm not familiar with it you know consume last so <laughs> okay yeah. yeah it's just yeah <laughs> i'm, I'm uh, playing that I'm card now me. yeah but yeah, yeah is it like a historic uh, thing then um sort of sort of yeah it's based yeah it's based on his historic events and i like um mm -hmm. it's based on like king alfred yeah, and um okay. so i think it was based on what year was it i think it's 1060 around the 1066 william no, no, not 1066 <laughs> i think it's before that 800 <laughs> bc or something. <laughs> something along those lines yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. year that always pops up you know <laughs> yeah 1066, 1066 whatever happens was it then. is it the battle i think that was the battle of um yeah yeah um, yeah i don't yeah. i don't remember something like, happened in england <laughs> something happened in england like i'm not even i mean i live in sweden and, and uh, yeah i had an english teacher and she always talked about that year so i don't remember what happened i think there was some kind of william and yeah and the year i remember hold on 1066 <laughs> we need to check that's all oh, the battle of hastings that's it oh yeah yeah right. it was fought okay. yeah the, yeah fought by whom um between the Norman French army of William the Duke of Normandy. William. Yes, I got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's rare. It's interesting. It's funny <laughs> thing. Yeah. I think that's the masculine sensory, right? So mm -hmm. we both, we have the same modalities. We have the same, uh, like, modalities on our animals and, and our functions and all. They are just in a slightly different order. I think yeah. the main difference between us, except for me being sleep savior and you are sleep last, and versus the play um i think it's the info energy dom thing do you know anything yeah. about it have you like you know watched the um I f information I f about the the energy info yeah, coin a, a bit um when you say do i know anything like is there anything specific you want me to kind of answer uh, like, more how how you if you know anything about it like more uh -huh. how you as an info dom see the differences between how you function versus people who are energy dumps like if you have okay. noticed something okay i think one thing that i've noticed is that like when somebody for example this is an example i think something i've witnessed as of as of, i'm continually witnessing is that when somebody is kind of saying when somebody's saying something and the, and i didn't hear what they said mm -hmm. I, I i kind of pest them like what did you say just say what you said and i, and I kind of like there's there's a there's a willingness for me no no not, there's an not willingness the opposite of willingness but basically there's a desire for me to not kind of stop until I actually get the information. Yeah, from you said. want the information. Like... Yeah, I, I, it can't be resolved. I, like we can't, we can proceed, but it's like I'm, I'm on edge now. It's like yeah. now I need to pay attention even more. And mm. then it's like it, it, it doesn't like even if like you take out like for example, if you're telling me a story, 
mm-hmm. and I miss like the first the beginning of the story like I don't watch movies from middle I can't watch like tele- I can't watch anything not from the beginning to end I need to watch everything yeah yeah you are obligated then, kind of yeah. yeah so and then it's like I I can like I can fill in the gaps but I don't want to I kind of need the information mm-hmm. there um with the energy stuff energy dom um what have I witnessed from that hmm Maybe I, I can just th- say something in between here. Like yeah. when you say that you can't watch a movie from the middle, like or or not entirely. Like so, for me, I'm not info dumb, so I can jump in, you know, and I can fill in the blanks with the NI, but I can't say that I have watched the entire movie. Like I'm obligated to watch the whole thing, okay. or else I cannot say that I watched it. So that's how my devil masculine consume comes to play but i can mm. still you know miss the info still... yeah because okay. that's not i mean mm. yeah i think also is that um i kind of like information is kind of what i kind of yearn for mm-hmm. over yeah. over um i i guess this is what it was discussed i guess this is what david shannon have said before but it's like i i prefer the information i prefer like i want the information i can like the way I kind of go about getting the information, sometimes it can be at the cost of, um, what, what's the cost? Cost of what? The vibe. Yeah. So sometimes it can change the vibe because I'm asking you so yeah. many, so much information on things that it can sort of change that. I guess. Yeah, that's a typical info energy clash, actually. Mm-hmm. Like maybe you have noticed now in the v- uh, in the Discord in VC. Uh-huh. We have like an info dom chat and we have an energy dom. I don't know if you've seen it. So I because the differences it. are so, so big, you know. Uh-huh. Um, so the energy doms, I guess we are all different, but a lot of them enjoys, you know, just talking, chit chatting. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be any info related thing. Yeah, because uh, I've noticed that with me, it's like when I like when I do converse, it's like, there has to be a flow of some sort of, I guess it could be to do with the functions as well, but there yeah. has to be some sort of flow of, um, uh, I guess also, I don't know if this relates, but some sort of progress, progress. Progress, yes. Yeah, I guess it's like, I don't like to be kind of, I, I prefer to kind of be moving in a, di- in a direction than to be kind of static and just, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Mm, like for me, having sleep, second so that's empty sleep i think maybe that's the thing that makes me i don't know like i don't enjoy the chit chatting as much if it's not leading anywhere i want you know the conversation to have a direction so i'm not info dom but i it's like i crave something to to puzzle you know in my mind mm. um yeah so if it doesn't give me that it seems somehow a bit of a you know waste of the time I guess Mm -hmm. um yeah so I can slightly relate to what you're saying but I think for me I wouldn't go as far as to ruining the vibe for the sake of the information most times maybe if it's really interesting I will but most times I won't because you know vibing is the energy dom thing that yeah you are mm-hmm. kind of obligated to protect the vibe first and then when that's fine when that is okay then you can go and seek the information and yeah okay i yeah. think you do it the other way around like yeah it's like yeah. initially when i i jump in information like uh-huh. yeah and then you can vibe after yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so like are there any challenges with that uh do you think i mean you must be gaining a lot uh, like you're learning a lot and you're getting all the info that you want to have but do you do you think there are any challenges with being info dom like i, I guess it's trying to in a sense if i'm taking an info it's like i, I kind of want a source to distribute it as well mm-hmm. so if if um yeah does that make sense like i kind of yeah. want to be able to share it back and forth and kind of discuss about what we have or just even if it's like um processing the same thing itself but yeah. kind of figuring out okay different ways um it depends if you have a specific topic different ways just kind of ex- um 
extensively kind of going through the whole thing like talking about every single point about the yeah. whatever we're talking about <laughs> yeah empty then, the subject like yeah yeah, yeah totally i yeah. see um i had another question as well it's related a little bit to this um you're talking about distributing i was thinking of the uh -huh. fe how often when you have fe in your stats you want to do things for others right mm -hmm. And somehow, maybe being a DE tribe over self, it's hard to to do things for self. Um, is this something you can relate to, being FE Dom or lead savior FE? In a sense, I can, but I think what I've I think I've been doing as of late is that I kind of almost make my identity part of like so for example if i'm doing things for the tribe itself yeah. i kind of make my identity kind of part of that thing it depends exactly what i'm doing for example like the music thing i've been doing before mm -hmm. it's like okay mm -hmm. i know that i'm doing this for the tribe like i kind of make it a part of my identity so the first thing is like i i say that okay i'm a music teacher or i'm a this i'm all that so what was your question again like what was the i forgot the words that you kind of used yeah so so like fe is often doing things for others i mean te is doing that yeah too, but the tribe function and it's often hard to do things for for yourself so if you could relate to that or oh y yeah but i think i don't i don't i guess i don't really see so much of a difficulty because i think of the double deciding mm -hmm. yeah. so I, I i think what it is that i kind of see what the tribe wants mm -hmm. and if it then i kind of i guess it's this is the double deciding if i because they're both in the middle right so i kind of see okay if this is what the tribe wants let me see what i want as well Ideally, of course, you want it to kind of cross paths, but if it's more often than not, mm -hmm. um, I guess I kind of find that trade off and find the, what's the opportunity to cost of me going for the tribe and what's the opportunity to cost for me going for myself in this scenario. And yeah. uh, I guess actually really, truly, really, as I analyze just the kind of previous years of my life, I think it has been kind of more or less balanced. But yeah. I think what I'm favoring to do more often than not, especially when it comes to just people itself is just when I, when i'm communicating with people that like, I, I i'm gonna go with you uh, i'm gonna try and do uh, a lot for you in in, yeah. in the moment but if i'm if i'm if it depends like i need a person to be present for me to kind of do that but yeah. most of the time if if that's not the case then i'm more often kind of sometimes it could seem like i'm going for more of myself right and, so, being like, yeah so, so i need to be in the of, present you kind of create like this win-win situation yeah Being like i decider. think yeah i try and think win-win in yeah. a sense like yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome that's wow to that, find that I, balance yeah because i think also is that for me to be doing things for the tribe i need to be in the presence of the mm -hmm. tribe so if i'm not constantly in the presence of the tribe it's like okay there's no one to help then it's just me you know so yeah. for the past couple of years i mean not past couple of, it actually was, it was a couple of months a couple of years back like i wasn't so much like when before i was even doing my youtube stuff I was on the path of trying to find my my the thing I was going to do um, for the next couple of years. And then after I found it on YouTube, actually creating videos on creating the e-commerce site and whatnot. And because now the tribe is there, it's like, okay, this is for you guys, in a sense. Yeah. Initially, because initially, when I started making music, that was for me. There was, there was nothing like the tribe. The tribe was never involved. So, so it but was I guess, just for you yeah, at that point. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I guess in different areas, like different stages of my life, the, 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 the tribe... The desire the tribe wasn't kind of demanding anything at that stage mm -hmm. but now it's like the tribe is kind of demanding say hey um you have this skill you have this talent you have this gift or whatever it may be uh teach us and then I'm like, okay the tribe is telling me this. so that's when it's when i started making music tribe members started saying hey you're good at this teach me this hey this and then it started coming from all directions and i was like you know what okay let me give in because i want to i guess i want to because i'm good at it and it's something that it kind of crossed path basically yeah. and there's something i actually enjoy doing um, but in terms of the initial question about is there a struggle, I guess it really depends on the scenario itself. Uh, more often than not, I, currently, I don't necessarily think it's a like a, a polarizing struggle. But um, more often than not, in the presence of tribe uh, tri members, I guess you can kind of be, it's sometimes it can be overlooked or you may not even think that you're, I think it's like an automatic response sometimes that like you're going for the tribe without you even knowing it. Sometimes if it could feel like, yeah, I'm making this decision for this decision for myself but really truly it can actually be disguised and masked for the tribe and i think yeah. actually going back and thinking about it like that i think 
sometimes it may be like that. It's like, it's like I guess also the, the double deciding, but because the FE is kind of higher up in the stack and double activated as well, it kind of leans towards the tribe's favor more often than not, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's the same for <laughs> me. It leans more yeah. to the tribe's favor often. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I think it's hard sometimes to find that mm -hmm. balance, but you seem to have found it. So that's awesome. I, mm. And I guess also because I, I don't know if it's because I'm not seen as much because of the sleep last or if it's because of something else i'm not too sure on what if, if i'm not recognizing that i'm not doing self interesting uh, yeah That's i think interesting. that i think that could also be a part of it yeah but i'm not 100 yeah. sure i need to think that through but yeah. Mm. yeah yeah so let's jump to that like your sleep processing like can you describe how you sleep process maybe i can compare with you because we both have nt sleep like what's sleep for you when do you sleep process <laughs> do I you guess, i guess what i because do, do you know that thing where i do the the video journal i've explained mm -hmm. it quite a few times yeah i, I saw it on uh, kendrick's interview with you you are yeah. you're video journaling every day yes yeah so every single t day day is like throughout the day it's almost like a like a self vlog so i record yeah. like i pick up my phone and i just start recording like like recording myself and just saying what i just kind of talking about my day talking about what i'm gonna do next and everything i yeah. think that's kind of the way i've kind of done it i started it in um, may 31st 2020 i started it last year and i've been doing it every single day since so my kind of goal with it is to say like, okay 25 years down the line i want to be able to look back at any day of my life from when i've recorded and yeah. say okay what did i do this date you know mm -hmm. just in case for example if i hit a milestone if i hit a certain milestone 20 years down the line i can look back okay how did I go about reaching that milestone? Also, because eventually mm. I can actually go about teaching other people and showing them this footage of how it's actual irrefutable evidence of how I actually achieved what I wanted to achieve. Um, I guess um, now that I think about it, I think that's kind of a lot of the times because when I do sleep process, I have to kind of talk it out. Um, actually, yeah. I need it's, it's almost like fake play. Like I need like I fake play in the sense that I kind of ping it off myself. And then kind of relay it's like a relay it's like looping back to myself and then after and I, I start questioning things and i start thinking okay is this really what i want to be doing and then after i changed like so multiple times out of doing this video journal thing i've yeah. had epiphanies i've had realizations like okay oh i could do this and multiple video ideas and mm. suggestions and um ideas have come up just from doing this thing itself just by kind of speaking and i think i've recognized that for me to kind of like actually come up with good ideas and whatnot I need to yeah. be pinging off something or someone. So I said, you know, what? why not do it to myself? And so far, so good. I mean, I've 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 seen the benefits of it. Only the downside of it is that it's a lot of storage space because it's it's a huge investment. I'm trying to do this <laughs> yeah. for the whole life, but you know, right now I've got like a twenty-four terabyte hard drive where I need to back up my phone. Initially, yeah. I started on my because I got two phones now, right? Mm -hmm. So initially, I started on my i the iPhone ten, and it only has like sixty-four gigabytes of data. And then every every day, I had to kind of just back up my computer back up Ooh, the yeah. videos on my computer then eventually i i'm going to 128 gigabytes and now it's like i don't have to upgrade i'm um, up back up my phone for like a week or so and I, I kind of record in small file sizes so 720p um 30 frames per second initially i was doing that like large file sizes but um mm. apart from that tangent there yeah. that's kind of how i think <laughs> um the sleep process kind of i guess that's what i do all the time and i think it's a time for me to kind of even reflect because i can do it any time it's not like I have to go on a, on a, on a long walk, even though, yeah, sometimes I do do that. But I think rather it's like anytime, anywhere after I've made like a huge decision or something. It's like a lot of times after, even after I make a, a YouTube video, I'm like, oh, OK, so what am I trying to do next? What works for me and um, stuff like that? And I guess it's just a combination of other things as well. But I think that's kind of what I'm doing when I do sleep processing. Yeah, OK. Um, to me, yeah. it actually sounds like a combination of maybe blast and sleep, because you mm. are kind of also teaching yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the way it's... of how you were doing something so that uh -huh. you're able to recall and go back and use it later on. Mm -hmm. so... I've, I've noticed that a lot is that, I, yeah, I do that quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of lessons in this in this clips. Yeah, yeah, they are lessons yeah. more. And I was thinking, where is like the puzzling part? like? trying that's, to that's what i'm thinking puzzle. as well so you um, did mention something there that you were puzzling because you get some sort of new insights of how mm -hmm. you can do things while you are blasting you kind of get this 
slash mm. some idea. So, so the things that kind of I think that I'm puzzling is things that kind of relates to me, like life choices and decisions and whatnot. So, for example, some of the things like okay, within the next couple of years, what am I actually trying to do with life, or what am I? Like, I guess it depends. Sometimes it's decision making for it for for self. Not mm-hmm. for the tribe because making decisions for the tribe is easy. I, like it's it's not a difficult thing. But like when it comes to self, like do I do I want to do this long term? Is this those type of questions which I think that I think is um, related. But yeah. Yeah. So asking yourself like how you want to go about things. Um, mm. So for me, sleep is a lot of processing um, about understanding things. I would say. It is related to my own life the same way as as you say. Uh, And also, it's kind of understanding concepts, I guess, in terms of, for example, now it's OP because that's what I'm into for the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm just trying to puzzle all the pieces, you know, build the the TI logic and, you know, combine those with uh, my NI understanding so far of life, of my own life, my experiences that I have had, <clears throat> the patterns I have seen with people since mm-hmm. I'm, you know, Effie, um, a lot of my interests, they revolve around people related things. You know, I work mm-hmm. with people. I've always been interested in psychology and yeah, you know, things like that. So okay, um, understanding like the bigger picture of things now, putting op into that understanding you know mm-hmm. and relating you know old uh, patterns to what i'm learning now so it's kind of connecting things and building okay. something and and okay. it's, it's an understanding uh, that's what i'm doing trying to understand and that's like one of the things that that is more most intriguing for me in life just to understand you know <laughs> okay that's okay. what, what drives me i mean I, I can really be so uh impressed by like yourself for example like you're executing so many things out there in the real life and i guess that's the difference when you have play uh, as a savior when you have your se as a savior because then you're out there in real life you know doing mm-hmm. stuff doing real things i do that too but that's more like uh, some second place, I, I, I would say, like understanding yeah. and then to be able to blast my understanding to the tribe. And I mean, I can do it like talking in a conversation with a person. It doesn't have to be a, a lot of mm-hmm. SE involved. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of how how my sleep serves me in my life. Um, but I guess mm. for me, having it so high it's kind of also, I mean, I enjoy it, but it can also be kind of a obstacle, you know, I need to play more, I need to go out more, I guess, um, Mm. in the sensory. Yeah. So it's interesting, because I think that's, that's, that's something that I think that is a almost seems like a, a desire, but it's not so reachable if that makes sense for you yeah uh, yeah I, mm-hmm. yeah 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 because we often yeah. desire our demons uh-huh. they are something we we want to do we, we'd like to be good at them you know mm-hmm. yeah like i want to i want to be good at technology but still uh-huh. i'm not really interested you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a problem yeah yeah um yeah so mm. i need to get my saviors on board so if for example it would be if it would benefit the tribe somehow, maybe that would be helpful for me to learn something like mm, if it was yeah. really important, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess the motivations can be a bit different. But I see a lot of similarities with your functions and, and your animals. But yeah, yeah, the info thing is is the big thing and the play play high you have. Yeah. like <laughs> Yeah. Really different. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so funny. So I don't know if you answered like about the animals. Did you think that you were play savior or and sleep uh, last, for example? I, I from what I, from that the videos that Dave and Shan was making before, when they, like, yeah. for example, some of like, the sleep last videos, I saw mm-hmm. a lot of myself doing. I saw myself kind of 
I, I saw myself within those type of videos. So I had an idea. I didn't, to be fair, I didn't really guess to the T, like, okay, Blast yeah. Play, but I knew that I had, okay, I'm most likely, like, I have these, yeah. I I, I knew that, not knew, but I had an idea that I, I most likely was in Vodom and mm. kind of, yeah. Probably sleep less than not play less. Yeah. 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 Wow. You really saw yourself. Um, so I was desiring, I guess, to be more playful, more pinging. So I thought I had it uh, as a savior as well as consume. So I totally <laughs> got the animals okay. upside down. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I saw myself as intuitive and feeler. But uh, yeah, I didn't really understand the differences between, you know, introverted feeling and extroverted feeling. I was so new to this still. In yeah. Feeling, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, tell me more about, you said you started uh, doing music for yourself. Uh, what kind mm -hmm. of music? Because I've been talking with quite a few betas that are, are actually making music. And we're kind mm -hmm. of, yeah, jokingly saying that this is the music quadra. The uh -huh, quadra. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so tell yeah. me more about your, your experience with making music. Mm -hmm. How did you it's get into it? Yeah. I started making music in 2017. Like mm -hmm. when I, I was never trained in any in musical instrument, 2017, I said, you know what? Because I was listening to a lot of music. I was listening to a lot of artists and like rap music and hip hop and whatnot. So yeah. then I was listening to that type of music. I was like, how do they make this? How, like, I, I like these, the way these guys kind of perform and whatnot. So I was like, you know, what? I want to become an artist. So when I said I want to become an artist, one of the first things I got was a copy of FL Studio 20. I got a MIDI keyboard and um, I just started making beats on my laptop. Then I started rapping over my own beats itself and then when i got that middle keyboard itself um I, that's when i started learning how to play the piano and the keys then eventually a couple months later uh so i started making music and then it was almost to a point where i was making songs every single day like yeah. actual perform my songs and the type of songs i kind of create is like gospel rap music you know Ooh, so that's, that's that's cool what a combination i love that <laughs> yeah interesting so that's um what was i so yeah i started making music i was making a song almost every single day mm -hmm. then after that i started um we, like um at church we started a new branch so then i started playing the keys the keyboard and uh, oh. the, the the guy the other instrumentalist was a drummer and he was kind of starting from scratch as well so we're kind of both beginners in, in in like music and whatnot so then we start performing live um, initially of course it was shaky it was interesting live performing and then uh, yeah after that let's fast let's say fast forward to about 2019 i started teaching other people how to play the keyboard and the drums <laughs> within my church itself and then now i play because uh, after learning how to play the keyboard itself i learned how to play the bass guitar the acoustic guitar um i bought a saxophone and i got a, a full drum kit like at that own as well so i kind of said okay based wow. on this like i want to kind of learn everything and then i created a lot of videos where it's like do you know them one man band type of videos where it's oh. like you're playing everything and then you kind of combine it i kind of did those type of videos um mainly for like church and whatnot kind of just uh, share the videos within the church community itself and then people really liked it then um yes yeah, so they started teaching more people how to play instruments yeah with, within the community and then fast forward to now because i think the question was about music how i got into it mm -hmm. um now i kind of since last year so when i got into music 2017 as well um, when I was recording, a lot of people used to say, hey, Cole, because I used to share it within my, my peer group. One so people said, hey, Cole, your music sounds good. It sounds like you, it, it, it sounds mixed well. Like it actually sounds professional. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, well, thanks. Um, I never thought too much about it. Then after people was like, okay, um, can I, can you help me record my songs or whatnot? Then I opened up my house or my room to, for people to come and uh, record their tracks. So I started doing studio time. I just started charging people on an hourly basis. I recorded hundreds of songs. Then after, because of that experience, like it was constant, I, I kept making a lot of music. And then it got to a point where people wanted to actually hire me for my services in terms of me teaching them one-to-one. -one. And then uh, it got to a point where like, you know, a lot of people started asking me that. And I was like, you know what, let me just upload, start a YouTube, like create a YouTube video to actually teach the masses. Then I started, I uploaded the video last year, July, 2020. After I uploaded it from then, people kind of said, okay, want more videos, want more videos. So now I'm at 12,000 subscribers. <laughs> On the wow. YouTube, I teach um, you like audio engineering, like the, the the engineering side of music and technical side of it. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I kind of started out as an artist, kind of went into a beat maker or producer, and then I kind of transitioned into an engineer, an audio engineer. Now I kind of moved on to the. No, I'm still all of those things. Don't get twisted. I'm still all of those things, but I kind of now like I progress from artist, beat maker, producer, 
engineer and um, now I kind of do teaching so I teach the kind of combine all of the package to teach and then after now I kind of do uh, part of my music YouTube channel itself I have an e-commerce site where like I sell presets templates and um, vocals like actual recorded vocals so people can practice mixing and mastering oh. and uh, that's the e-commerce site that I have now which yeah. I have a lot of paying subscribers on that site mm-hmm. and uh, it kind of generates revenue so kind of yeah that's how I kind of when I got into music 2017 to this date 2021 and uh, yeah that's the music side wow yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. so impressive like you're actually putting it out there again in the sensory like first you're learning and after huh. two years you are the teacher like it's yeah. so fast for yeah. me it's like whew, <laughs> speed of a flashlight <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> mm. yeah. Oh, yeah yeah you're really brave also I, I guess actually... also... Yeah, go yeah. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, no go ahead. I, I, go, I was just go going to say that yeah I, I did something once actually I, I did teach the guitar for beginners but that was many years ago and yeah so I guess sometimes the blasters will just get started I wasn't I mean I had only played for at that point maybe four or five years something mm-hmm. and yeah not that seriously every yes. now and then but I, I guess the way you see it maybe like at least how I saw it was that as um, if you've learned something even if you've just learned a little you know more than the beginners so you can yeah. give them at least that you know that's like exactly start. that's exactly how everything was like for me like even yeah. to this point like when I started uploading videos like the, my my the quality compared to now of course now is better but initially yeah. it was it was it, it was almost like i was with them you know yes. if, if that makes sense and yeah it even, makes when sense. I, <laughs> even when i started a lot of things initially it was it's 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 it's, it's just i'm only like two percent better than the average joe but because i'm I, I spent time actually consuming and learning about it a bit yeah, more yeah. that two percent makes a huge difference when it comes to teaching or whatever it is because somebody has something to learn from you and a lot of the things even to this date like i don't know every single thing technical technical like the technical things but i'm able to kind of teach based on what i've kind of seen that works for me yeah right sense. yeah yeah i was just even thinking, when, yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's like the advantage of having blast over consume that you are yeah. not scared you know of getting started you just put mm-hmm. yourself out there and you get started and yeah. but do you ever get the feeling like I can sometimes get started and then when I'm there I'm like whoa now I have to handle this it can be kind of stressful you know as an observer maybe it's easier for you because you have the play second so you can mm-hmm. uh, navigate it maybe more easily mm-hmm. um, so I get started and then I'm like okay let's do this and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but let's improvise and mm-hmm. you know that's the way it goes and I think that flows even better for you having the blast play. Mm-hmm. I Do you ever I, get nervous? Like, what am it, I doing? Or like, yeah, I should sense, know more. <laughs> yeah, in a sense, yeah, like it, exactly that. But I think when it, for me, it kind of ties in with um, trying to kind of make sure this information that I'm kind of teaching is correct and relevant for the tribe. Yes. Like a lot of the times, like when even I like the the the, the NTJ talk channel, the MBTI one. Mm-hmm. Initially, all my videos, in the, if you watch the, the the first type of videos, like mm-hmm. it, it, probably now if you think now that I watch back, I'm like, this is not what the video title is saying it is. You, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like yeah. this is not this is not a, an actual accurate portrayal of the of what I was said that it, uh, it was supposed to be. Right. So then it's like and that bugs you like it needs to be correct. At the, at the end, it like now it kind of does. So I, yeah. it kind of I'm thinking, mm. but the good thing I like about it is that it gave me the momentum to kind of proceed forward. Yes. Like even with the, the music channel I have now, the tutorials and whatnot. Initially, if you like look back at everything, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. It's all about kind of rising up. Initially, of course, I understand that, hey, the first type of work is like the, the product version 1.0, version 1.2, point yeah. three. It's always not going to be the best. But as you kind of progress, right you're gonna get better but i think one thing that i kind of don't want people to kind of see is that not to kind of not see not see but to kind of say that oh this is who you are based on the old stuff look yeah. at me now then okay say that that's who you are yeah and, uh, you've progressed to this point like you yeah, started over there but now yeah. you're here and this mm. is who you are like you're oh, representing yeah. your your actual self here and now like in the present mm. yeah also i think one thing that's kind of helped with all these other things i was doing before is that yeah. i i kind of like having initially when starting out something i like to have 
I like to do things with I, I like quantity over quality initially that's why you see initially is like I'm just aiming for quality because I know that the quality itself is going to feed the quantity the, the quantity is going to feed the quality the mm -hmm. more you kind of do something you kind of learn with it as well you know and then if you're outputting at the same time if you're outputting and you have some sort of quality quantitative yeah. me measures in, in the sense that eventually you see that three three months down the line when you do decide to focus on quality and even if it's a, a, at a lower volume it's going to be one of the best it's going to be the best yeah because the quality was there and basically essentially all it is that output you need to kind of practice a lot or yeah, output you, needs to be there right you and, need the quantity to be able to reach the quality in the end exactly and yeah. if one thing that i think that's worked for me is that i need it to actually be outputted live so one of the things that i kind of first do is make it make the thing a part of my identity like the music thing i said yeah. okay i'm going to be an artist now then mm -hmm. I said to myself, okay, I need to be kind of consistent on this. That's why the quantity is there. You need to, when people say be consistent, all they're trying to say is that you, you need quantity. And then of course, why, okay, first, number one, made it part of my identity. Number two, uh, consistency, actually doing it, repeating it, the process. Mm -hmm. Number three is the output. I need to actually output something. So it's like, it's, it's all well and good to create, like working on, like say, working on a song. But if the finished product isn't there, like yeah. how much do you output? then I think that's a problem for me because it almost seems like I'm not making any progress. That's what initially I had to make. I made literally made a song every single day. I played it onto streaming services. Like it literally took me like an hour. Initially it took me like an hour to make a song, to record, make the beat, everything. And um, yeah. and now it takes me, of course, a couple of hours because I focus more on quality. But yeah, I think right. if anybody's trying to learn anything, it's focus, at least trying to focus on that initially because you see that I think it's worked for me. It's worked for me. The more I do it, that I, I have an advantage over other people because I actually took time to do it on a regular basis. That's why even before when I was uploading videos on my YouTube channel, I uploaded every single day. There was a mm -hmm. point where I was uploading every single day, but now I'm focusing more on the quality side because I've reached that point now. Because it of course, it comes to a point where it's like, it makes no sense to upload every single day after a point, you know? Right. So, because I've kind of taught everybody what they need to learn. So if you used to go to my YouTube channel, you see, if you're trying to learn how to mix a master, you can learn how to do it. Yeah. If, if it's that genre or if it, whatever that style. But mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say is, what am I trying to say? Is that, yeah, like, initially, that's kind of what worked for me. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Practice makes perfect, right? So you just have uh, to get started and put yourself out there. You're really inspiring when it comes to that. Like, you're not afraid and you're yeah. just doing it. Like, I love that attitude that you have. Uh-huh. And it will <laughs> take you far. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just worried about one thing, and it's that you have the sleep last, and mm -hmm. beware of the sleep crash. Like, take that time for yourself to to sleep process things also. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to revisit that info dom thing one last time, um, because I was thinking that, hmm, this is feminine, and I I'm forgetting the concept that I was going to say now. Mm -hmm. Let me think again. So info dom and yeah. So there was a word that you mentioned earlier. You said something about wearing a mask, like like a social mask. And that is something I've learned about the the info and versus energy that the info doms, they are I don't know if I'm saying this right now. Um but they are like the the priority is the information, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it is. And yeah. and the self is kind of, I guess, secondary. And mm -hmm. and you are also somehow thinking that nobody can really know you or really understand the full full you. So sometimes you will wear kind of a mask or a persona to do the thing for for the sake of the info something along mm -hmm. those lines do you do you relate to that at all or um could you could you repeat that one more time i'm trying uh, to think yeah i, I could contrast it also with the, yeah. with the energy dom so the energy dom is all about you know play and sleep so it's about processing self understanding self where you fit in here in the world and mm -hmm. versus the tribe so yourself and the tribe you're all all the time trying to align how you view yourself with how the tribe views you and vice versa uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah yeah while with the infodoms it seems like almost like they have like a hidden hidden self more mm -hmm. it's not the importance of you know 
being kind consistent, of s- you know, a hundred percent of the time isn't there as much. Um, right. You you get what I'm saying. I, I get I get what you're saying, and I can kind of see glimpses of that. Um, I will need to give a proper scenario. I need to provide an example from when that happened, like when I think that's happened to kind of cloud, like to kind of, uh, yeah, I, I do see elements of that in a sense that I guess it depends. Like, I, I, I guess it really depends on what scenario. So if you were to give me like a scenario, or like even multiple scenarios, I can probably kind of yeah. explain like, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that will be for the next interview, like when we go uh-huh. for the second round. I'm planning on uh-huh. doing that. So if you come back, because I'm still very new to this whole system and, and the info uh-huh. energy dam thing. I'm trying to understand it as I go. So, uh-huh. yeah, basically, this is what I know so far, um, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I was okay. Just <laughs> looking for if there was any, you know, anything that you could relate to or any ping mm-hmm. back at all. Um, but yeah, let's mm. sleep properly. And I guess, it. yeah. Good. yeah and i guess that because like with the mask thing i guess it depends on what type of information you're trying to retrieve mm-hmm. you know so if it's like a um how do i put this it, it really depends because i think when, when it kind of paired like with the infj when it's kind of paired up with the fe it's like um hmm. yeah i need to think about it I, I i guess it depends on the type of information yeah right yeah yeah and when you are mentioning the fe are you referring to that we kind of know how to i wouldn't say play a role but how to fit in in a context Mm -hmm. is that the thing you are referring to yes yeah 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 maybe those are kind of connected the mask thing and yeah well Mm -hmm. let's talk about that another time it's okay yeah it's deep but it's interesting. yeah it's really interesting <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It, yeah yeah 